Okay, I've got, um, first thing we're gonna do is to boil the ravioli and I've got the water boiling because we know how long it takes. So I've got that boiling. We'll just put the ravioli in. And you just want to boil it till it comes to the top. And this is just frozen. I got the cheese. If you prefer to have the um, beef, that's fine. It's just the regular cheese. And you find it in the snack area. Because I must have walked around there three times before I found it. We'll give that a little stir. And I'm not gonna, I didn't salt the water. Um, I felt that with everything else we were gonna put on it, it really didn't need to be, it didn't need to be salted. Okay, so we'll let that come back to the boil and uh, we'll wait till they float to the top and that'll be ready. Our ravioli is all coming to the top. I'm gonna drain this. And I like to run cold water over the hot ravioli just to kind of stop the cooking time. So it stops cooking. Right. We're just going to spray this pan. Just a little spray. And then just line your raviolis on here. When I did this earlier, they fit so nice. A little bit. <laughs> now if you run after you boil them, you really want to run cold water on them and that will stop the cooking process. And it also make them less uh, stuck together. And if you wanted to, you know, make this part of it, make the ravioli as a day ahead or the night before, or the that day, because this is sort of a run to the ball field type meal, um, you could do that. And just keep them in the refrigerator. And like I said, these are cheese. You could use the beef. If you really want it to be good, you could make your own, but we won't go there tonight. Okay. Oop. All right, see how nice they fit? Perfect, okay. Now, I says, uh, calls for Italian dressing. I got the World Classics three cheese Italian style dressing. You can use whatever you want, whatever you like. I think salad dressing is wonderful because you can do so many things with it other than put it on salads. Okay, stir that up a little bit. And then just brush it on the ravioli. And like I said, you could use whatever flavor you wanted. If you had your own little flavor, I would think that even with the beef ones, you could do sort of a sweet and sour dressing, a Catalina, and uh, just change the dipping sauce a little bit. Instead of having marinara sauce, you could have uh, teriyaki sauce or uh, again use the sweet and sour sauce or the sweet and sour dressing the Catalina dressing I think salad dressing is so great because you can use it to marinate beef or chicken or fish and it's you don't have to bother measuring all the different herbs and spices it's already done for you okay Then all we need is some breadcrumbs, and it's just the Food City brand seasoned breadcrumbs. I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on. And this is a nice little handy thing. You can get the little Glad um, containers, the little tiny ones that uh, maybe hold a half a cup, and fill that with marinara sauce. Put these on a little plate or in a little baggie. And there you've got dinner on the road. Okay. Looks good. We'll get that in the oven. And it says to cook for about 12 minutes. 12 to 15. I'll give it 15. Oops. Okay. 
Okay. And here's our toasted raviolis. And they can be put in a, you know, in a plate or a little bowl. I'll put them on a plate. Now these are hot. Okay. And then you can Dipping sauce. Okay.